trying to see if we can find any invasive Burmese pythons. Any luck? We saw one dead one on the road. No luck finding any live ones. But the temperatures weren't right. This is something I was, I've been interested in since I was little, you know. I always, man, I'd sit there and have books all day long as a kid. I can name every snake in the freaking world. <laughs> That's what I was doing. We used to, I used to go to the, the herpetological meetings. They used to have them at the University of Miami mm -hmm. when I was a kid. And Joe Wazalewski and Bill Haas would host them. And he'd put up a slideshow. Okay, I'm going to go through, see if you guys know what you're looking at here. My every snake he put up, I'm as little, I'm raising my hand. That's mine, I know it. <laughs> Me and my friend Jake, that's all we wanted to do. I'd come out here on my bicycle in a five-gallon bucket. Mm -hmm. I'd come home with a bucket full of snakes. Mm -hmm. My mom had to get used to that stuff. What are you going to do with all those snakes? I don't know. Bill Host. Bill Host used to run the Serpentarium uh, in South Miami. Yeah, he just died recently. Yeah, he lived to be 100 years old. He'd go he'd inject himself with cobra venom every day to keep the immunities up. That's the guy I wanted to be. For me, it started out more as enjoyment. I mean, helping to protect some of the native animals is, to me, that's a bonus. But I did it more for enjoyment. Uh, I'm hoping to find the largest python I can. I mean, to me, I'm, I'm never going to have a chance to go to their native areas and catch these large snakes. And we never had them here when I was a kid. Now I have a chance to catch large snakes, too. You got federal-owned land, state-owned land, county-owned land. It's hard. If they could open up all the land for us, it'd be great, but I don't see that happening. I think by limiting where we're allowed to go, it's helping Got the pythons. Got it. Done deal, baby. Woo!